This video will show you how to use Tinker's Skin Editor from Minecraft. To get to the skin editor from the Tinker website, find Skins under the Minecraft tab. Here, you will see all the skins you've created, and below, the most recent skins other Tinkerers have made too. You can see Tinker's featured skins by clicking on Explore at the top of the page. Now to start creating your custom skin, choose from one of Tinker's 24 templates by selecting Create New Skin, or choose one of the skins from the Tinker community. Now I'm going to start with this polo template. Now in the skin editor, first create a name for your skin at the top right. I'm going to name mine Dave. At the top left, you can start over at any time by selecting a new template from our selection of character models. Along the left, we have our color palette. Here, you can save up to 12 colors for your editing. Once you click on one of the colors, a gradient color map will appear for you to select the precise color you want. I know I'm going to need these few colors, so I'll save those here. Along the top, we have all our tools. Here's the pencil tool that'll paint a solid color, the texture brush that's just like the pencil tool but it gives more of that Minecraft look, the eraser tool, the paint bucket tool to fill in anything solid, and the eyedropper tool to select a color already painted on the skin. This is also where you'll find your undo and redo buttons. Now with these tools, I'm going to make Dave's eyes blue and his shoes gray. You can rotate your skin by clicking and dragging. And to paint in hard to reach places like the inside of an arm, you can hide specific body parts with the selections on the right. Another cool feature of the skin editor is the ability to paint on an outer layer. You can do this by clicking on the outer layer icon. The layer you're currently painting on will be highlighted in orange. So this is the inner layer, and this is the outer one. This feature is used for adding jackets, crowns, and other accessories without destructively editing the inner layer. I'm going to give Dave a gold necklace. Now, when I want to replace the necklace, I can just erase it from the outer layer instead of having to repaint the inner one. Before saving, be mindful of whether you select an Alex or a Steve skin because the Alex skins are slimmer and Steve skins are wider. You can find that information here. Dave was made from the Alex template, so I'll keep that in mind. And when you're done editing, hit Save Skin. Then from the Skins page, hover over the skin and click Use. This will save a PNG image to your computer. Now, to use a skin in Minecraft, you have to go to minecraft.net and sign into your Minecraft account. After you've signed in, go to Profile, select the player model, in my case, it's the Alex model, Select the PNG file from your computer. And hit Upload. Now, when you sign into Minecraft, your skin will be loaded. You can hit F5 to get a third person view of your skin. And hit F5 again to view it from the front. On Max, you first have to hold the function key labeled FN then hit F5. And that's how you use Tinker Skin Editor for Minecraft. 